All right, everybody, welcome back to the epic saga that is the life of Roger Bates. He is now at 100 zombie kills after episode 4. Sorry, after episode 5. So now, going into episode 6, at 9 days in, we have lost 5 uh, kilograms, which is perfect. We only need to go down 5 more, or I guess 6 more, technically, and then we will be... Uh, at normal weight, and if we can get rid of this out of shape too, that'd be nice. We got a long ways to go on that one, but <laughs> hey, at least we'll not be overweight anymore. Um, before we get started, here's the map. We are inside of Rosewood proper now. We traveled from our home all the way to the bar, spent the night there, uh, came over here, spent the night here, and we found some nice goodies that are going to keep us looting and shooting for quite a while, I foresee. So, before we get started, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really hope you're enjoying them. If you have any kind of uh, things you'd like to see Roger do next, feel free to leave them in the comments. He's open to suggestions. He's a very open-minded individual. Um, also, if you're liking the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and then you'd be able to see some more of my content. You can also check out the channel. Lots more videos on there. Without further ado, let's get after it. So we've already looted this house entirely. Um, I think it might be a good idea to leave these gun cases downstairs or maybe even consolidate everything into one gun case. Cause I don't want, I, I wanna basically leave as much stuff here as we can. Uh, keep things secure. So let's drop both of these and maybe even we'll put both of these into the other one. Perfect. And let's grab this just so I can move it over here so we don't get don't get fooled. We will also drop the garbage bag and I kind of want to bring the duffel with us. I don't want to to leave the duffel because if we find a lot of good stuff, it'd be nice to carry that in the duffel bag. All right, we're good to go. Let's fill up our bottle first though. Maybe get some food out of the fridge. We should put these, we should put these over here too. Maybe even put them in the garbage bag. I think that's the move here. Put them in the garbage bag. In fact, we may even eat a sardine. good to go. So I'd like to check out this uh, garage we have here. And also I want to hit the mailbox. So there's some over there. Um, hopefully they don't bother us. Okay, there's one in the backyard. We should take care of them. Hello. How did you get back here? Were you back here the whole time? Watching us kill your friends. You feel the power coursing through Roger's veins as he improves. It's a glorious feeling. More garbage bags. This will be nice for uh, coming back to to get the... Also, let's mark this on our map so we don't forget which house has this stuff. This will be our little tiny uh, loot drop-off destination inside of Rosewood. Every time I open one of these, I always have my fingers crossed for the generator manual because I've seen people get it out of there before. So four in that one. Let's go this way first, I think. 
And then we're gonna go into the backyard and fight them back there so we don't draw the others out on us. Hello. Just one of you, I thought there was two. If you wanna fight here, we can do it, man. I'm just happy to provide. Where are you going? What are you? You're one dumb zombie. My god. Whereas Roger just such a ninja that. Yeah. I kind of screwed up its pathing. These garages are locked, unfortunately. I really am curious as to what's in there. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. Oh, you can put clothes on these guys. I wonder if you can pick it up too. Now, how did a hospital gown zombie get all the way over here? He's just peeping Tom. And it's unlocked, I can't believe that. So it sounds like there's more in here. So let's be on our toes. All right. Main room is clear. Bathroom is also clear. He was peeping in the bathroom. Ooh, Roger's favorite. A sheet, we'll get that and put it on a window. The Thompsons. Let's find this guy making so much noise. He's gotta be up here. Oh good, he's in a room. It sounds like just one, but you'd never be sure. Hello. Sheet of paper. Just what I was looking for. More sheets. We may even take these with us just for the moment. Oh, bad meth. Do we even want to risk that? I don't know if we do. I know bad pepper meth can kill you, but I don't know if bad meth can. We'll bring the bad meth. That seems um seems like a worthwhile thing to take with you. Moments in American history, moon landing. Okay, Roger, being the space enthusiast that he is, he will absolutely take that with him. Duct tape, sure. Ammo, why not? A rifle. I don't really like that rifle, so I'm not gonna bring that. All right, this house is cleared. More bad. A lot of meth in these uh, rich people homes, don't you think? I wonder what that says. I don't think we've been here yet, have we? Oh, we did. Food. 
take all this and we're gonna just dump it on the ground so it's like easy to see. In fact, we might even take it to the other house. Boundless supply of cigarettes. All you can smoke. Roger's happy about that one. He's uh, looking more chiseled by the day. I don't know if, if you're noticing this, but that beard, man. It's a good look for Raj. Oh, nothing. Okay, and we may as well take that sheet. So it's also heavy. Carriage, that sucks. We'll drop the tomato also. And the paste. Yeah. And we're taking these sheets just so we can uh, place them on the windows in the next house in case they don't have it. We will go out the back door. I think that's going to be better. One guy in the road. Oh, hello there. Roger's craving a little bit of action. Oh shit. Please no bite. Oh, thank God. That could have been bad. All right. Whew. That one uh, made me panic a bit. Okay. No wonder. I see where they're coming from. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if we could lure a couple over here. Come over. It's getting so dark. Come this way. Oh, I think that's more than I was hoping to pull. Okay, no, just the one. That went right according to plan. Damn, I can hardly even see this guy. This is risky business, but... Roger's a bit of an adrenaline junkie now, after that close call with death. Damn, I literally can't see him. I should have taken the uh, cat eyes. All right, no, there's more on me. I need to get some as I can see. Okay, I don't like that. Where's the fence line? Okay. Let's wait um, until morning. That's it's too risky. Even for Roger. I 
and collect his thoughts a bit. And we really shouldn't even be carrying all of this food with us. Let's drop a little bit of it off. Oh, no, let's just move it. That's better. You're still close to being too heavy though. What's what's so heavy in our inventory? I guess it's just like all of our gear in this like axe. Right out. Wish we had brought a book with us. Yeah, I know you're getting bored, Roger. Trust me, you'd rather be bored than dead, right? Let's see, is there a good book in here? Magazine. That's not too bad. Roger loves to read about celebrities and celebrity gossip and the like. Okay. 420, it should be getting brighter. Hardly, actually. Still super dark. Let's do a little bit of reconnaissance. So we have one over there. What about that horde that was there? Are they, are they gone? They are gone. There's two in front of the house we slept at. We are hungry. Eat some sardines. I eat all the sardines, why don't you? Nothing. All right, yeah, I can fight you over here where I can see. That'd be great. That was a bit too early. Premature swing. I think we already have your buds. We only pulled two. I didn't want to pull all three. You know, I both appreciate that you guys are slow, but it's also so annoying. Okay. Get him, Raj. Get him. Let him have it. Did she get darker? Oh, the lights went off, the street lights. I guess because it's almost morning. Praise the sun indeed. What 
is that? Do you have like are those your your intestines hanging out? I didn't know they had animators or models like that. Let's check the back. I hear some noises. Damn, that literally made me like jump in real life. Not gonna, not gonna lie. It's, it's the noise. Something about that noise. There's, some, there's a lot of stuff in here. You're not dead. Now you're dead. I wonder if that key will work on the garage. I hear more. Upstairs, maybe? Which door is it though? You behind door number two? Yes, you are. Oh, there's more of you in here. Oh, I see. Stuck in the bathroom or closet, are we? West Point map, sure. Suit pants. Oh, we could be styling. Get ready for the ball. Do so much meth and so many ducks. Antidepressants, I like that. Shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. Ooh. Hmm. We'll just take the shells. I think we've looted all those rooms. Running on fumes. Not with all this meth we got. We'll leave you for later. Ooh, Hunter magazine, Metalwork magazine. Oh my god! Yes! Let's go! Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is a glorious moment indeed. I am. Um... <laughs> I'm quite happy about that one. So, you know, I had a feeling after all that meth we were finding this was going to be a good episode. Little did I know we were going to find how to use generators also. So, I found a sledgehammer and a generator and how to use generators in Rosewood. That's insane. <laughs> That's literally insane. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm happy about it, though. What else we got in here?
take all of these with us. Ooh, that's very good. I think that is actually about how to, to handle our RV. And tailoring one, I did want to find tailoring one. Dude, this is so clutch. Oh my god, Roger, you lucky duck. No wonder you like ducks so much. Someone busting down? No. Where is that that noise coming from then? Is Roger slowly hallucinating? Broccoli, yeah. The key to a healthy diet. I think he's definitely earned some wine as well after this. Drink half a bottle. Moderation is key. But when we get back to that bar, we're gonna let loose, let me tell ya. We're celebrating tonight, boys! Dude, I still I can't even believe we found that, man. House two house keys? Interesting. And a flashlight. Oh, this is very, very nice indeed. Okay. How heavy is it? One. We're gonna keep it in our backpack for now. Some pasta. Alright, I think we've looted everything else in this house, haven't we? This is it. This is everything. Ooh, more antidepressants. Dude, this house is a freaking treasure trove. Another first aid kit? Sure. More bandages, the merrier. That's what Grandma used to always say. Ah. Coal pack. Use an improvised defensive, by defensive devices. I've never seen this before, actually. Let's, let's scoop it. Maybe we can become Mr. Freeze. And you know what? In honor of uh, finding the how to find a generator, some blue map. That noise. Yeah. You take the whole bag there, Roger? No, I didn't mean to pull that out. I don't, I don't even like, want to let it go. It's just it's so beautiful to look at. I feel like it really does exist. Yeah, that's everything. Good lord, this house was stacked. Let's keep it moving. Um, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we, we can even have some more wine, I think. I know. Let, let's have our beer. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. Chase it with a cigarette. Just like Pa. OG Roger would be so damn proud. Alright. Whoever is like banging on that door and he's to shut the hell up. I'm methed up, I'm wasted, and I am annoyed. Let's see if that garage will open with this key that we found. I would like to see what's in there. Seeing as everything in the house was amazing. Come on up. I'm all messed up and ready to go. Yo, someone in the garage. No, we can't open it. Dude, I, just, I can't even believe we found that magazine. Okay. Um, let's also move that. And our ducks, we'll move in there. Drop this. Drop that. Alright. Let's keep going. Can't stop now. Ooh, I kind of want to bring one of those flamingos back. Was that window open the whole time? We're going to close that in case I run back into here. Why was that window open? Did I go in through the window? I can't remember. That meth really did a number on me. Oh, it's you. Alright, we're gonna take care of you first. I can't take the noise. I don't want you to break the door either.
sleeping on the job? Not a good idea when Roger's around. Is there anybody else who wants some of this righteous fury? How are we drowsy? We, we did we not snort uh, blue meth earlier? We did. How are we even possibly drowsy? Roger just one tired ass boy. The weight of the world's on his shoulders. Does it not reduce tiredness? It reduces unhappiness. Matches. It's always nice. Vitamins also are nice. Metalwork too. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that. Cooking, fishing. I don't really... I don't feel like I need those. Don't need those in my life. How's our wound? Empty box in the closet. Of course. Ooh, okay, yeah. That's nice. Carpentry 3. Alright, man. Not too bad, not too bad. Another flashlight. We will get the battery. Hello there. I don't believe we've met. My name is Roger, and yours doesn't matter. House key, I bet you lived here. Well, welcome home. It's nice to have you. Any ne'er do wells up here? Umbrella. Ooh, the salsa. More pepper. So much meth in this neighborhood, man. I. <laughs> so much damn meth. Two, two, three. I don't know how useful two, two, three ammo is. We may we may leave it here. Um. I don't want to bog ourselves down too much with ammo that we might not use. But we may even want to look through the ammo that we already collected. Leave some of it, potentially. I don't take chances no more. Not around these parts. Garter. Yeah, we'll put that one on. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mark a... And I also wanted to put... That's like a snowflake for cold stuff. Hopefully uh, I remember that when winter comes around. <laughs> Others will be like, what is that asterisk for? All right, this house is free and clear. Um, I almost want to take some more meth. I don't want to burn through our whole meth supply just in the rich people neighborhood, though. We still have so much of Rosewood to explore. Okay. Let's just, let's just keep moving. We'll we'll figure out what we want to do with a uh, oh, figure out what we want to do with that later. Okay, let's get rid of you before your buddy comes up behind us.
Dude, you missed me. Come on. Get with the program. I know I'm ridiculously tired, but you don't have an excuse. Where are you going, even? Dude, he's on a mission. Look at him. Where are you going? You just really wanted to be back here, huh? Is this place sentimental to you? That was kind of a close call. Not gonna lie. Don't like when they get their hands on me. There's a cop. There's a cop zombie. Okay. We've got to get him. Yeah. Come on over. Oh. Please have a bulletproof vest. We're going to stomp this guy um, instead of hit him with the axe because I don't want to mess up that vest. That is nice. Bring it to Papa. Papa Raj. In the house. Or in the front yard, more specifically. Nice. Eat boot. Yes. A hoe and a holster, which is very nice. I'll also unload that. Get those shotgun shells. Hmm. I don't think I want any of the other stuff, to be honest, but we will place this out here so at least it doesn't disappear. Put it on the driveway by the flamingos. Because I, I do want to come back for a flamingo. I kind of want to put that in the RV. All right, let's see. Do I dare shoot? We do have kind of a lot of shotgun shells, actually. And I think we have even more that we left at the, uh, at the house. And honestly, I might even get rid of these sheets in a minute, because they're really not, not important. You know, I was excited about the how to find the generator, but the three rubber ducks, even better. It might be in our best interest to just go inside and sleep, actually. Uh, I don't I don't want to use all the meth in one go. You know, they say don't don't spend it all in one place. Or don't snort it all in one place. Ideally snort it in various locations around Rosewood proper. Yeah, we're taking a master suite tonight. Close, thank you. I wonder if all the alcohol we drank actually like dulled the effect of the meth on like our uh, our energy. I could kind of see it. What are blue meth in here? I don't want to use the blue meth anytime soon. I want to save that one. Two, two, three, get out of here. We're putting you back in the, uh... oh, we didn't take it out. I guess that's from the other house. We'll leave that there. Maybe eat some chips. Do you have any food here? Yeah, we'll eat the chips. I think you could even uh, eat all the chips at this point, Roger. Dude, that beard. I guess it grew again overnight. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this shotgun, man. Uh, I kind of do want to take it with us, but... Because what? this is like 20 shells, right? One box is 20? Yeah.
Hmm. I don't feel confident to use a use the gun with only forty like forty six shells. That seems like a bad idea. Small town, big heart. Tell me about it. All right, let's just put the gun down. Uh, maybe will it go in this gun case? We can move that downstairs potentially. No, it won't. We'll hold on to it just for now. We're still overweight. Mm hmm. Oh, will this make us tired? It doesn't say it will. You can get rid of these probably. Create some magazines. Where to start? So many options. We'll start with this. This is for the bear bus. We don't have that. Oh, this is dope. Okay. We should read this. If we can find a bear bus, that'd be very cool. Um, we could, like, deck it out. Make it a uh, very Mad Max. And honestly, it wouldn't even be bad to get tired because it's the middle of the night. Rogers is looking so damn cool. His camo, his police bulletproof vest, his... <laughs> what are these? Leather uh, leggings, basically? Skinny leather trousers. He's like super punk, you know? What else can we read? Some dance moves. This teaches nothing really useful, but why not? May as well read it. Got nothing to kill but time and zombies. We have two copies of this. All right, that calls for a smoke break. Do your thing, Roger. Do your thing. Just binging on meth, wine, and knowledge. The most addictive of all substances. Knowledge. Okay. Let's put these um in the bookshelf, because I, I feel bad just leaving them on the ground, you know? In someone else's home, no less. Don't want to mess up the place. Especially after we killed them with our axe. Empty bottle. Dude, Roger, like, hardly drinks any water, to be honest. Like, I always thought he would drink more than that. Ooh, chocolate chips. I do like that. I do like chocolate. The chocolate is the straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe we should just get rid of this shotgun. I don't feel like we're not going to use it, so I really don't see a point in even having it. 
We're gonna place it out uh, next to the other gun. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Let's mark, um... Alright, it's gonna be light soon. I guess we could just start reading... Uh, probably tailoring or something, because I don't think we were able to read... Uh, I don't think we were able to read, what's it? the Carpentry Volume 3 yet. No, we're not able to yet. It's hit to be 5 to 6. What are you tailoring? That's a good one. No way we're gonna ever finish it. Probably won't even finish one chapter, but still a worthwhile endeavor. All right, it's six. Let's get out of here. Art is all about uh being on time in a reasonable fashion, of course. Eat. Is there anything in the fridge we could eat? Bologna. Why does that give us boredom and unhappiness? I love bologna. It's like a personal insult to myself. It's like, I don't appreciate that, uh, Mr. Indy Stone. I also, uh, my favorite snack is tubs of margarine, so that really shouldn't give me unhappiness. Didn't think it should make me happy. Roger's a keto guy, you know. Where are you going? You don't even know what the hell you're doing. Little do you know, it's the last walk you're ever gonna take. Roger, I'll release you from this, uh... It, I was gonna say mortal coil, but I guess immortal coil? Somewhat immortal? Undead coil? He's gonna uncoil you, is what I'm trying to get at. Be uncoiled. And I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm starting to feel a little uh, overconfident. Like, I, I want to just attack a horde. Ooh, another cop zombie, I think. No, that's just a lady with a double. That's the only one that sees me. All right, we'll come up. Step right up. Lickety split. Meet the uncoiler. I thought she had that on her. Where should we? Oh no, we've not read that. We'll grab that. Quite a few over there. Where are we, like, map-wise? Okay, we're close to, uh, whatever that is. I, I think that's the fire station, that's the police station. I don't, I don't remember what that one is. Hey there, partner. Yeah, both of you, come on up. Ooh, 
We ain't leaving Rosewood till we're uh, fully over encumbered. And the loot goblin inside of Roger has been satisfied, if it ever can be. Some say it's an incurable condition. Even the uncoiler can't fix that. Would you like to be uncoiled? Ooh, okay. A test of how far Roger's come. Double headshot. Let's him go up here. I'm kind of curious where that road goes. I say we scope that out, and then uh, we will end the episode with whatever is at the end of that road, depending on how cool it is, or depending on how how long it takes to get there. Oh, a hazmat zombie. Okay, yeah, this is great. This is from the uh, they knew mod. If I really should add a mod list uh, for the description for these, because some of y'all might like to play with these mods if you don't know about them already. The RV interior one, I can't recommend enough. I mean, it's just so cool. Because it works on more than just the RV. It works on, like, buses, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we'll take that bad boy. Thank you very much. Where does that go? What is over here? It goes out of town, I think. We'll go this way instead. And then we will uh, we'll close out for the day. All right, there's a few there. Two in the field. You know what they say, two in the field, probably like 40 in the bush. So stay out of the bushes is the point of that, uh, that story. At least that's as far as I know it. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this axe way more than the crowbar. It just feels better. It looks more, uh, apocalyptic, survivor-esque. I mean, if you read the description for the last video, episode four, I asked the question, can Roger continue his metamorphosis into the post-apocalyptic survivor butterfly we all know he can be? I think that uh, today's episode has all but confirmed this man is in metamorphosis. He's cocooning. He is forming this cocoon around himself as we speak. I, for one, cannot wait to see his, his true colors when he bursts forth. It would have been really um, sad and ironic if I like died or got bit right after saying he was cocooning. But no, that's just, if anything, that just proves further he is cocooning. The old Roger would have run from such a such a challenge. Not cocoon phase, Roger. No, sir. He embraces the struggle. As he knows at the end of the struggle is growth. Do you see me from that far away, really? No, you don't. Oh shit. I almost fucked that one up. There's a couple on the fence line. Let's deal with, uh... I don't think they're not even coming my way. I might not even... I might let them... Maybe they're cocooning. Why, why would I... Why should I burst their cocoon? Oh, no. This is the police station. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Rosewood has the big one. 
Yo. Okay, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, hello there. Oh, look how easy it is to break into the police station of all places. Who's, who's banging on the window? Okay, no wonder it was so easy to get in here. It's like the holding or interrogation room. Okay. I have a feeling that that's a zombie. Yeah, I see the glass. Okay, the, we're, this is a good place to stop the episode. We're, we're going to explore this police station uh, in episode, what would it be, seven? Episode seven. All right, everybody. Thank you so much again for uh, witnessing the cocooning of Roger. He, he's entered the cocoon. Who knows what he will be when he emerges, but it, it's been a beautiful journey so far. And I also just want to say thank you for uh, viewing these videos, for liking them, any comments, everything, you know, just Roger loves it. I love it. Thank you so much. I hope you all have amazing days, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and as, as is tradition now, get a good look at Raj. Who knows where he'll be next time you see him. Goodbye, folks.